Well, 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 well. Julian Assange back in the news, right? Sweden. Sweden jumps out of a a bowl of rice from out of nowhere. Sweden is now trying to extradite Julian Assange back to Sweden for uh, the resurrecting a rape charge. Rape charge, right? Back in, remember the rape charge? That was what he was, uh, bail, he, he, that's what he originally tried to hide inside the Ecuadorian embassy from, which was uh, on a trip to Sweden. Some woman says that he, he that uh, she raped him, right? Which is, I don't know, it seems, it seems, who knows? Who knows what happened? But let's look, uh, nonetheless, nonetheless, right now, Julian Assange is sitting in uh, Belmarsh Maximum Security Prison right now in England, in London, England for jumping bail, serving a 50-month sentence. So let's let's have a look at uh, what's going on, right? Is uh, Sweden going to win? Is America, the United States has an extradition? Everybody wants Julian Assange. St. Julian, right? Is chickens, right? Is chickens coming home to roost, or is it just, is it a prosecution of the, of the pharaoh? Is it prosecution of the prophet? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's the, the latter, right? So it's St. Julian, right? So here's... Julian Assange, Julian Assange, Sweden reopens rape investigation. Now, there's no indictment so far, just an investigation. Sweden would like to come and talk to Julian while he's in prison, uh, allegedly being uh, zapped with a couple of medications. I also have the, uh, the video, we'll look at the video of him. He's had visitors so far. There was uh, Pamela Anderson, Oh. The Pam- Pamela Anderson is visiting him, and so is the uh, the WikiLeaks guy. So let's have a look, right? So Swedish, we'll take a look at that video. Swedish prosecutors have reopened an investigation into a rape allegation made against WikiLeaks co-founder Julian Assange in 2010. The inquiry has been revived at the request of the alleged victim's lawyer. We don't know who the victim is, right? Uh, Statue of limitations on this will expire August uh, 2020. So they're getting right in there. They're getting, you know, they have the chance, right? Let's just continue. Assange, who denies the charges, has avoided extradition to Sweden for seven years after seeking refuge in the Ecuadorian embassy in London 2012. 47-year-old was evicted last month and sentenced to 50 weeks in jail for breaching his bail conditions. Also, I found that uh, of the 50 weeks in jail, he may only serve 25, and then the rest is good conduct, right? So there's a good chance that he won't, he won't serve the entire 50 weeks, probably about half of that, according to what I looked into, a little British law. Uh, he is currently being held at Belmarsh Prison in London. That's a foul right there. I mean, he's solitary confinement, uh, 22 hours in a cell a day for bail jumping, something that is... Some people just get a slap on the wrist for So they threw the book at him. Swedish prosecutors originally decided to drop the rape investigation two years ago, saying they felt uh, unable to take the case forward while Assange remained holed up inside the Ecuadorian embassy. But on Monday, Sweden's deputy director of public prosecutions, Eva Marie Persons, announced that the case would be reopened. Uh, there is still possible, probable cause to suspect that Mr. Assange committed rape. She said, now that uh, he has left Ecuadorian embassy, the condition in the case has changed. Hmm. Uh, how did the conditions change, right? The conditions or the, or the facts? Are they changing the facts? Probably. The conditions are in a place once again to pursue the case. <laughs> so fucking stupid. The conditions, this is a BBC, by the way. The conditions are in place once again to pursue the case, she said. His release from the embassy and the subsequent decision to reopen the inquiry is likely to raise the question of which extradition request should take precedence, that of Sweden or the U.S. That'll be the big question. But the, 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 the actuality is first come, first serve. The U.S. put up their extradition warrant first, and it's already, I guess, executed, right? So they'll go first. The U.S. will go first. Uh, the U.S. is seeking if 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 the lawyers can't stop the extradition. Right? U.S. is seeking uh, Assange's extradition from U.K. over his alleged role in the release of classified material and and diplomatic material by WikiLeaks, 2010. Right? 
That's not what he's being alleged. That's not what he's alleged to have done. He's not, there's no crime in releasing classified information. He's a publisher. His, his crime allegedly is, is co-conspiring to hack into the Pentagon, you know, servers that, that, um, Chelsea Manning had already hacked. Assange, uh, uh, Australian born Assange faces a charge of conspiracy to commit computer invasion, right? He is accused of participating in one of the largest ever leaks of government secrets. Right. So what now? Right. Um, so there has been consider- considerable political pressure on Sweden to reopen their investigation. But there has always been political pressure surrounding this case. Its editor-in-chief, ch- editor Kristen Hofstrand, said in a statement. A lawyer for Assange told Swedish broadcaster that the prosecutor's decision was, quote, embarrassing for Sweden, adding that his client wanted to resolve the case but feared being extradited to the U.S. It already looks like there's no way that Julian Assange could get a fair trial in any of these places. And that's what Britain should be looking at, saying that these are built up, propped up, bogus, bullshit charges that especially if he's extradited to the U.S., how could he possibly f- get a fair hearing when most of the most of the Democratic politicians and kook politicians have have said openly that that he should be assassinated, right, without any trial? Right? So what happens now? Ms. Pearson told reporters on Monday that a European arrest warrant would now be issued. "Quote: The prosecutor will shortly request that Julian Assange be detained." In his absence, suspected, suspected on probable cause for an allegation of rape, she said. Ms. Pearson asked that the UK authorities would decide on which extradition request to follow. Oh, they have to, you, UK has to follow the first, the first request made. What is the Swedish investigation about? Let's find out. Assange was accused of rape and other sexual offenses against two women following a WikiLeaks conference in Stockholm in 2010. So he's there, he's in, he's in Sweden at a conference, his own conference, right? So rock star, rock star Julian Assange lands in Sweden, and at his convention he meets two chicks who want to sex him up. I go back to the hotel and sex him up. And then, they, then, they, then the gold digger kicks in and says, oh, it's Julian Assange. No, 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 he raped me. He raped me. No, no, I didn't say. I said condom, and he took his condom off and, and put, his, put his package inside of me. Right? Foul. I'm crying foul. That's, it's, it's classic, you know, it's classic rock star shit, right? He's a rock star, right? So, so that's what's going on over there. Right? So, so here's, um, where am I? I don't even know where I am. Right. So here's the, listen to this. So I was saying the other day, so Pamela Anderson, ooh, fucking, for 40 year old, right? she's doing all right, right? Pamela Anderson, remember the porn star? She she, she sexed it up with uh, the guy from Poison. You remember Brett Michaels from Poison? Fucking, fucking, fucking. The porn flick f- leaked out of Pamela Anderson and, and Brett Michaels. Who was Pamela Anderson? She was she was on Baywatch. You remember she, she used to show up and she, that was her claim to fame. She was a bikini lifeguard on Baywatch, right? And then she, and she sexed it up with Brett Michaels and then uh, the other guy with the, with the big thing, you know, the schlong, what's his name? Uh, 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 fucking Tommy Lee from Motley Crue, man. Tommy Lee, she was sexing up the 12, all 12 inch of Motley Crue guy. Remember that? And the two porn flicks flicked out, so she's a porn star. <laughs> and now she's, she's, she's in, in Julian Assange's presence. Do you think she, um, before we play the video, it's actually very serious, a very serious matter, but it, you just have to wonder why, why uh, Pamela Anderson suddenly, you think she, um, you know, I wonder, I mean, and, and I guess you can help me try to figure this out. Do you think that she sexed him up? She visited Julian Assange a bunch of times in his little room in Ecuador and claimed that she was seeing him, right? Is there a little nookie going on? Did Julian Assange, did she... Now, there's definitely a video of that because everything Julian Assange is doing in his little room is filmed. So I guess that'll be the next video we see is Pamela Anderson. You play all three of them together. You just, there's, there's Brett Michaels from Poison, you know, and fucking Motley Crue guy. Fucking. And then Julian Assange. She finishes, it's like the grand finale at 40 years old. She's doing a... So, so you think like she was in that room and she's like, come here, Julian. You haven't had sex in a while, 
go uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you think so i think so i think that video exists of pamela anderson j jacking up julian Assange. so let's watch your video i'll shut up hello everybody hello. Um, hello. We can have a make a make a short statement and take maybe a few questions. Uh, I think I speak for both of us that we are quite emotional after this uh, this first social visit that uh, Julian has allowed after him being in here for a month. Uh, it is for me shocking to see uh, my friend, uh, an intellectual, a publisher, a journalist. A man that has transformed the world of journalism with his work, sitting in a high security prison. What I really want to know from these two people is, is are they jacking him up with drugs? Is he different than than he appears to be? All right, solitary confinement will do a number on you, but you could see if someone, someone that you know and someone that you've seen many times and spoke to, are they... Are they noticeably dis different? Like in a month of solitary confinement, can beat the shit out of you if you don't know how to handle solitude. However, by being shot up with different uh, truth serums, that uh, there is an allegation that the that the the uh, that that's what they're doing to him. They're trying to they're trying to lobotomize him, chemically lobotomize him, so that when he for whatever reason, just to just to, to, just because they can, right? That's what I wanted to hear them say, but they don't really say it. They just talk more about uh, the tragedy of what's happening, really. So. Spending 23 hours a day in a cell, having half hour outdoor, if weather allows, and half hour to do everything else. This is no justice. This is an abomination. Someone said that you could judge the uh, civilization of a society by visiting its prison, prisons. And frankly, I, I have to say from my heart that this visit did not reflect well on this society here. This must end. This will be a fight. I can say that Julian Sanz is, is bent, but not broken. He's an extremely resilient person. And I want... Bent, not broken. So that, that's interesting. That is an interesting... This is a guy who knows him, publisher of uh, WikiLeaks, right? And he's saying he's bent, not broken. So that's a good sign. That's a good sign, right? I'm just... I'm concerned about his mental state because again if he's in if he's, if he's incarcerated and they're they're jacking him up with drugs he won't be the same when they when they let him out i want you to think about the fact that such resilience usually comes from the fact that he knows that he is innocent he knows that he has done nothing wrong she's going to speak in a second he knows that he's being persecuted for the simple fact of doing journalistic work that should be that should be the message that you should relay to the general public Thank you. obviously it's been uh, very difficult to see uh, Julian here and to make our way through the, the prison to get to him was quite um, shocking and difficult um, he does not deserve to be in a supermax prison he has never committed a violent act. He's an innocent person. Um, it's, uh, he has access to a library, a uh, computer, um, any information. He's really cut off from everybody. He hasn't been able to speak to his children. And you know, public support is very important. Uh, fundraising is very important. He needs all the support he can get, you know, justice, uh, Will depend on public support and he's a good man he's an incredible person you know i i, I love him i i i can't imagine uh what he's been going through I bet and to you see do. him was was uh good to see him it was great to see him but he's um this is just 
misrule of law in operation. It is absolute uh, shock that he has not been able to get out of his cell. It's been one month. It's going to be a long fight. And he's, he's uh, deserves our support, he needs our support. So um, whatever anybody can do to um, maybe write to him, encourage him. He's appreciative of any support that he's received. I think he's, he hasn't received any, uh, too much yet in the way of uh, letters, but I know people have been writing. It's a, it's a process for him to, to have any kind of communication. It's very difficult. And uh, anyway, we just have to keep fighting because it's unfair. He's, a, he's, he's sacrificed so much to bring the truth out and we deserve the truth. And that's all I can say. I'm sorry, I'm just feeling, I feel sick. <laughs> I feel um, nauseous. So maybe it's a couple of questions. Is there any questions? There, if any questions are. What sort of conditions is Julian in there? Um, he is not in a, of course you have to take into account that the, the, the years and years that, that he was in the, uh, in, in the appalling condition in Ecuador and Embassy, especially the last year, where he was being uh, basically harassed every day and uh, everything done to make his life there miserable uh, so I mean he has as you could see in court basically has lost weight uh, but his spirit is strong and that's the most important thing and uh, we told him about our our uh, feeling that there's a growing support among the general public and the population and he was heartened to hear that and uh, that gives him uh, added strength how tough is he finding it at Belmar? So obviously a high security prison and said last week that he's in a cell for 23 hours of a day. What, what's that like for him? How, what how is it like for him? anybody to be in Belmar's prison? Especially when you are there because uh, another country demands your extradition. For journalistic All right, so you get the idea, right? So there, so he's he's. I just wanted to talk about his uh, Assange's mental state, right? So, so there you go, right? So, so Julian Assange is locked away in a, in a little cell. Now Sweden wants a piece of him, right? They're gonna. He's like a he's like a political, you know, political uh, football, right? They're gonna kick him around. So Sweden is likely. Uh, I I did see something where WikiLeaks, um, this founder, this guy right here, right, the editor, said that they would like, they would prefer. It seemed like they were alluding to the fact that they'd prefer Assange to be extradited extradited back to Sweden so that he can clear his name, right? So that's interesting, right? He, you know, because because in the U.S. he's not going to be able to do it. The U.S. is this is it's a kangaroo court, right? They're setting him up. For the kangaroo court, right? That's that's Pompeo and Trump and the rest of them, right? They want to they want to screw him, right? Get him, screw him, drug him, Guantanamo, right? It's a spy. Uh, so, so Julian Assange has got some shit to to deal with. We'll see, um, you know, we'll see what happens. I mean, they just what next, right? Sweden now, no, who what's what else? Another another situation is going to pop up. Who knows? Marcus Conti reporting. Kindly become a Patreon of the channel. PayPal, one-time contribution. You can buy some stickers on eBay. And don't forget to subscribe. Marcus Conti reporting.